Hi guys, I just wanted to come back and just talk to you about Easter egg hunt. And I love doing Easter egg hunt. Growing up, I didn't have an Easter basket or Easter egg hunt. So I just love to plan stuff and do parties and everything. So it's just me loving doing this. It's so creative and fun. So um, usually I put little trinkets in the eggs and they just end up all over my house and in the bathtub and so this year I didn't want to do like a whole ton of um, candy but I did get jelly beans and some cream eggs so I may use those I'm not too sure but this year um, depending on the weather I got <laughs> egg hunt kit bunny feet because I just thought it was cute. My son's seven and this is the year he started to question Easter Bunny but um yeah I'm just hoping we will make it through this year. <laughs> anyway um so I got these camo eggs for $1.98 at uh, Walmart and I thought they'd be more difficult to find for a seven year old because now you know, the colored eggs are really easy to find. Um, I had bought these last year at Walmart. I think they, yeah, $2.99. No, Hobby Lobby, sorry. And I got them for half off, I'm pretty sure. So these I could do at night, but I've never had a chance to do it. It's like so busy and I just hope I can do this. Or you could use them in eggs in the bathtub um just a couple of ideas and i also found these at target and these are scavenger hunt tickets so i'm thinking about just putting those in the egg and then you have to locate the egg around the house so this is for inside mainly so again depending on the weather i may do the easter egg hunt inside i may do it outside but these are more inside i think unless you hid the basket and use these but you know it's just a cute little unique thing it's not like realistic <laughs> and after i said i wasn't going to do that i got this finders keepers at kroger's for i think it was like two dollars fifty two for five or something like that i should have got two because now i'm thinking about another thing which i'll tell you so this could be a prize because I found these that are numbered and then it says use the tickets and create your own rewards for collected amount of points. So I was thinking, it says here 25 points, one piece of candy. I might, because we're going to spend time with my nieces on Easter, so I might use those and have my son and my niece do an Easter egg hunt so that's what I'm thinking and maybe that can get, be a prize so I might get one more or oh, I have these eggs as well so I thought they could find them I bought these last year and you actually you can hunt for them and you smash them I don't know if my brother-in-law would appreciate this all over his yard but so that might be a no um Oh, and then I got this as well when we go over there and feed the bunny and I thought maybe the grandparents will do it with the kids too because there's plenty of carrots um, and just blindfold it's just like pin the tail on the donkey which is now every different character you can find now so it came with the blindfold it came with the bunny picture and the little carrots and their stickers which is kind of annoying because it'd be nice to reuse it. Maybe I'll just cut around them and then just put tape on the back or something so we can reuse it next year. So that's another fun activity for my niece and my son. And then last year I gave my niece an Easter basket and they were, my brother-in-law can be kind of, mean but he thinks he's being funny and he said uh oh, just what we need more junk 
in the Easter basket, you know, and I had done it really low key. You've just seen my son's <laughs> Easter basket. <laughs> so um, this year I wasn't going to do anything. And of course, I just can't not get my niece something. So what I did was something for my son and something for my niece, and they're all the same. So I'm not sure whether to use these as prizes for the points um, egg hunt. So I may do that. We'll see <laughs> if I have the time when I'm over there. So I got them each one of these. I know my son's a little bit older. But my niece is four and she has a dog that kind of looks like this. And what you do is you can color the pet with the marker. And so they've got a green and an orange so they could probably swap them. And then you can scrub it off like it's color and clean. It's like a washable thing. And I thought this would be so fun for them, something to do. And hopefully the markers are washable. Yeah. Like, so we won't have to worry about it being on furniture. So I got them each one because I thought if he saw it, he's going to want one. Even though he's older, he kind of likes this stuff because I like this stuff. So then I got, I'll just show you. I should have been gone by now. Oh, well. Um, so I found these at Dollar Tree and now I haven't seen them again since I first bought them out. It's like this stuff they have for a couple of weeks and then it's gone unless they get another shipment and they usually don't when it's holiday stuff. So I got the, I think I got this for my son and then the bunny for my niece. These bags were at Walmart for like 29 cents or something. I got the shrink art, which is awesome. I don't know if we'll be able to do it because on Easter, everyone's cooking. So hopefully we can shrink these. But what they do is just um, color them in. There's bunnies and Easter egg hunt. I might give this to my son and the bunnies to my niece because it looks a bit more kiddish. Uh, there's the pen. So they got the same colors, which is a shame and they're not very nice colors for Easter <laughs> uh, maybe I can use some other markers I'm not sure anyway I'll figure it out so I got these because we love these shrinky dink things and then lastly from Target again I got again this is the only thing I got these string art kits I got a blue bunny for my son and this white bunny and you just string it through and I thought it'd be pretty easy I think you paint with the glitter well his is blue and hers is white and then you add all the items and I think it's something they could do by themselves because a lot of time I have to help <laughs> which I don't mind but on Easter it's a little bit harder because there's so much family so I just thought something they could do by themselves. The shrinky dinks they could do by themselves, but I have to help with the oven. This they can do by themselves and this. So it should keep them busy. So I might use those items for the Easter egg hunt. And then I got these today because it was two for a dollar. So I can't resist getting bubbles for kids. It's like so fun to me and I am grown and still love bubbles so I got these two because I figured we'll be outside if it's nice and they could have fun with that the cousins playing so that's that and then trying to do this before my son gets home for the Easter egg coloring we usually color eggs and I sometimes do it on Good Friday because we're not here on Easter. So, um, yeah, I got these hot rod ones because I thought he'd like it. But it's basically just a wrap that you wrap the egg in to make it look like a racing car. But there's also stickers. So I thought it might be a cool little activity. And then this one 
is Bumping Colour Easter Egg. I can't remember. I think I got these at Walmart, maybe. So there's a thing in there and you just shake it around apparently and colour the egg in different colour. You put the colours on the corners. So I thought that might be fun because we've never done that before. And then I just got these at the dollar store for a dollar, just the colouring cups. And they're not as strong as the ones you can get at Myers and Kroger's, but I don't know. I don't know why I buy this one, but I do. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you get some ideas. Bye for now.